Hi everyone, welcome to this quick video where we're going to take a look at Dynamo to do some reinforcement code checking. So I'm going to run the script first and then I'll go back through and explain how the script actually works. So what it is at the minute, you can see that I have lots of reinforcement bar already modelled here and you'll notice it's yellow at the minute. The reason for this is I'm in my 3D rebar code check view. And if I just go into visibility graphics and we take a look at some filters here, you can see that um, the yellow colour simply means that I've got reinforcement modelled, but it's not currently been checked yet. Once it's been checked, if it turns green, it means the reinforcement complies to code. And if it goes red, it means it doesn't comply to the code. So let's go ahead and run our script. And then we'll take a look at how this script actually works. So it'll just take a few seconds to run, and you can now see this has been run. Um, so you can see here that, for example, this U bar here has turned green. Uh, you can see these bars are green, but these bars are red. So let's take a look at why that's the case. If I select this reinforcement here, you'll notice that the um, Excitec code check means check. What that means is I need to go and check that because that's not complying to code. And you can see here the bar is over the stock length of 12 uh, meters. OK, that's good. Good to know. Um, if I select this bar here, uh, this one's OK, as you can see. And here you can see if I go down and have a look at the length, it's not even 10 meters yet so that's good okay well let's start to make some design changes in here so i'm going to select these u bars just in here and you can see i've got um the a and c uh, legs here are currently 550 well if i go and change this perhaps to uh well 20 is too small let's make that something like 50 in there okay let's run the check again okay you can now see the checks run and now we have an error if i select the bar here here again you can see that the check has failed and it says here um, a leg is too short for bending okay well let's now change the c leg to the same dimension that's clearly something that we can't fabricate um, so again if we run this yep you can now see it remains red but now if i check the uh, bar again you'll now notice here that the leg A is too short for bending and leg C is too short for bending. So as well as showing you graphically on the screen what doesn't comply to code, it also tells you where the problem exists. Okay, so let's now take a look at the code in a bit more detail. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this in Dynamo. So we're going to open up Dynamo. And I'll run you through various different areas of the script. So I am using some Python in this script as well, and you'll see why a bit later on. So you can see here, it's a fairly lengthy script. So if we go right to the start here, um, what this um, node here is doing is getting all the reinforcement bar. Now I'm just using some Python to do this, but again, you could just use standard out the box nodes to actually grab all of the reinforcement bar. I'm then using some design script to simply separate the bars. So we've got straight bars going up here and we have our uh, bent bars coming down here. So the straight bars are being checked for compliance to 0, 0. So what's basically happening here is you can see if A is uh, greater than 12 meters, uh, then it's longer than the stock size. So i.e. that will throw an error. And you can see here we're then setting parameters on that and then showing what that code error is. We're doing the same thing for shape code 01. So shape code 01 is stock lengths. So you can see here that if we take a look at our design script, we're saying here if A does not equal 6,000 or A does not equal 12,000. So if that's the case, we're then filtering out the bars. And again here, you can see that um, shape code 01 should either be um, in 6 or 12 meter lengths. So if we now have a look at the bent bar, you can see here that I have a code block which is putting out all of the various different parameters, so the A, B, C, D, E, and so on. And then I'm using some simple Python script here to iterate through the lists and then decide whether the bar is okay or whether it needs checking. So all it is here is you can see the check is saying, well, first, let's now check to see if it's over 12 meters. So if you've got a bent bar and it's still over 12 meters, you can't fabricate it because it's longer than stock length. Uh, but also here, you can then see that I'm zipping up these lists. So essentially, that's transposing the lists and then iterating through them all and basically saying here, well, if I is equal to um, zero, um, 
that that's okay because that means you know for example if I've got uh, an L bar the A and B dimensions will be filled in but C dimension will be zero so obviously that's um, still okay to have that um, but what we're then saying is if I is greater than J then throw this error here to say that A is too short for bending and basically we go through that with each of the uh, areas here and then what's happening is I'm setting parameters on those checks again Okay, so I hope you found that useful and look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.